some breaking news when it comes to the ongoing fight of AB5, where an appeals court decided against Uber and Lyft and said that they have to classify their drivers as employees in the next 30 days, or they're going to be in violation AB5. Hey everyone, Chris here from the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to be talking about what this means for drivers as a California court decided to go against a previous decision and say that drivers have to be employees in the next 30 days. How this is going to affect Prop 22, what Uber and Lyft say, as well as the state of California, and then we're going to talk about how this is going to affect drivers. So what actually happened is a court of appeals decided yesterday, late Thursday afternoon, that they were going to not uphold a previous court's decision and allow Uber and Lyft to operate as is where drivers were independent contractors. Now the court came out and said they have 30 days to reclassify their drivers as employees instead of independent contractors. So in a Twitter announcement that was made yesterday afternoon in California, it said, breaking, we just won a unanimous victory for workers in our case against Uber and Lyft in the Court of Appeals. Drivers are employees. Full statement coming soon. And the San Francisco attorney, Dennis Herrera, released the following statement, which you can see. And this says the decision makes it abundantly clear that Uber and Lyft have been breaking the law for years. The only thing radical and unprecedented is the scope of Uber and Lyft's misconduct. This is a victory for the people of California and for every driver who has been denied fair wages, paid sick days, and other benefits by these companies. For too long, Uber and Lyft have illegally denied their drivers basic workplace protections and shifted that burden on to drivers and taxpayers. Uber and Lyft have pocketed millions of dollars by leaving drivers in the lurch and taxpayers to foot the bill. The law is clear. Drivers can continue to have all of the flexibility they currently enjoy while getting the rights they deserve as employees. The only thing preventing that is Uber and Lyft's greed. And following that, a statement from the California Attorney General Xavier Becura says that Californians have fought long and hard for paycheck and benefit protections. Uber and Lyft have used their muscle and clout to resist treating their drivers as workers entitled to those paycheck and benefit protections. The court saw right through their arguments in the midst of a COVID health and economic crisis what worker can afford to be denied basic protections like paid sick leave, unemployment insurance, minimum wage, or overtime? Today's decision comes on the same day that federal government reports that more than 1 million Americans filed for unemployment benefits and three of every 10 of them are gig workers or self-employed. But remember, companies like Uber and Lyft that classify gig workers as independent contractors don't pay into unemployment benefit funds for workers. That means that American taxpayers, not gig companies like Uber and Lyft, are covering the unemployment benefit that gig workers are receiving from the COVID bailout. That's not fair to our workers and taxpayers. It's time for Uber and Lyft to play by the rules. So both Uber and Lyft have also came out with their statements, and I'm sure more statements are going to be coming out very soon. But going on to what Lyft had said, they stated that this ruling makes it more urgent than ever for voters to stand with drivers and vote yes on Prop 22, she wrote. And then Uber's statement says, today's ruling means that if voters don't say yes on Prop 22, rideshare drivers will be prevented from continuing to work as independent contractors, putting hundreds of thousands of Californians out of work and likely shutting down ride sharing throughout much of the state. We're considering our appeal options, but the stakes couldn't be higher for drivers, 72% of whom support Prop 22, and for the California economy, where millions of people are jobless and another 158,000 just sought unemployment this week. So this is an ongoing case, but what does it mean for drivers currently? Well, right now, it means nothing. Nothing is going to change in the state of California because there is still Prop 22, which is going to be on November 3rd, which is Election Day. And if that passes or fails, then that can determine what it's going to look like going forward when this 30 days is up. But either way, the Court of Appeals decided to say you have 30 days from now to be able to reclassify your drivers as employees or you will be in violation. So that means they could be shutting down after that 30 days if Prop 22 fails. But if Prop 22 passes, then that means this whole lawsuit will pretty much be flushed away and drivers will be falling under Prop 22 instead of AB5. 
Now, as this is an ongoing story and there's many facets to it, like Prop 22, like AB5, the ongoing court cases and appeals, there will be many updates. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to the Rideshare Guy for all future update videos. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. All right, everyone, drive safe.